Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, we're going to talk about cis versus trans fats. So a cis fat is going to be, it's going to have the double bond. Notice that both hydrogens are on the same end, and that's why you have that kink in the tail. So trans fats, I'm sure you heard of trans fats. Trans fats are created when you take an unsaturated fatty acid from something like corn oil, and you hydrogenate it. The hydrogenation process involves heat and heavy metals and these types of things. And notice how, what happens when you turn a cis fat into a trans fat, it moves those hydrogens by hydrogenation, and it's straight that tail. So the benefits of trans fats would be, number one, this appears to make things stable, so it increases the, the shelf life of food. Number two, it takes these cheap industrial nut and seed oils that are normally liquid and makes them solid at room temperature. So they've replaced things like lard in a lot of the processed foods that you buy. So those would be the, the, the so they, so food can be cheaper, it can have a longer shelf life, and, and you can, because you can use these cheaper oils, which is all great. But the downside is trans fats have been linked to pretty much everything, heart disease, cancer, etc. They're being phased out of a lot of your food foods, but that's what the cis versus trans fats are. So just remember the trans fats are created by hydrogenation and it's a way to take cheap oils and make them solid at room temperature. Now there are some naturally occurring trans fats. They're going to be in dairy products. They appear to actually be very good for you. Some of them may even have some anti-cancer properties, but trans fats created by hydrogenation are pretty much the uh, the fat that everyone agrees you, the only safe amount is zero, which is why you're seeing them phase out of so many foods. That's why I don't want to spend a whole lot of time here because I think it's not as big of a deal as, as it was five, ten years ago, but that's what it means when we talk about a cis fat versus a trans fat. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.